Hello everyone, I'm Rodney from 3dgameman.com and today I'm looking at the Tesoro Tazona G2N Elite Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. And I'll also be taking a quick peek at the matching number pad for this keyboard. It comes in this outstanding box, it even has a handle, there is pictures and lots of them, plus features and specifications about the product. Now let me open it up. It's packaged very well with two pieces of quality styrofoam on either end, plus cardboard and a plastic top, let me take it right out, remove the styrofoam and the plastic top. Ooh, look at that. It comes with a braided and shielded 1.8 meter cable, as well as a USB power cable. And the number pad box is equally as nice with the same theme. However, it does have a swing up section here so you can actually see it. Again, it's packaged very well in plastic. Here's the number pad and a detachable cable. So this is a mechanical keyboard, but it does not have cherry switches, rather it has kale switches, and they are like cherry, probably not as good, but you know what, for the most part, you won't notice it. It comes with 87 keys, and it has this rather sleek, slim, stylish design. I think it looks quite nice. Also, it has two USB ports. There's one on either side. Some connections at the back, which I'll get to in a minute. As you can see, there are some thumb keys. These are always handy. Quite nice quality keys here, along with these. Now, these are brown, and to be honest, I love brown switches because, well, they don't make that horrible click, 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 clicking noise, which some mechanical switches do. But hey, whatever your preference is, that is fine. Now, these not only come in brown, they come in blue, black, and red as well. Now, the keyboard and the number pad has the same switches, but these are not cherry switches but rather kale switches. Is that a big deal? Not really, not for most of us. They are gaming grade switches still, and they last almost as long. If you're really fussy, of course, go with a keyboard that has Cherry switches. Now let's go through the different Cherry MX mechanical keyboard switches. I'll first start off with black. Black switches are excellent for gaming, but they're not so great for typing. They have no tactile bump or audible click. Now red switches switches are the same as black but with less resistance. Brown switches are the best overall, they're great for gaming and for typing. They have a tactile bump but no audible click. The blue switches are superb for typing, they have a tactile bump and audible click. Green switches are the same as blue, but has a much stiffer spring. And finally, clear switches, while well, they're similar to brown, but has a much stiffer spring and a more noticeable tactile bump. Now, some gaming keyboards are backlit, which really helps, especially in a gaming environment, but this one isn't, nor is the number pad. Here are the standard multimedia keys. You have mute, volume decrease, volume increase, play pause, skip backward, and skip forward. As well, here's a function key and a Windows key. Note that they have their name stamped on the keyboard. Now this particular keyboard has two different modes. You have a PC mode and the gaming mode. To get to those, you just go function and this button, F12, and that will switch between two different modes. In this area, there are a number of LEDs for scroll caps and number lock. Now let's go over the mechanical specification, and this applies to the keyboard and the number pad. The switch mount is silver plated back. The actuation force is 45 grams. The key shape is cylindrical, and the responsiveness is two millimeters and four millimeters to the bottom. And by the way, each of these keycaps, they're laser etched. Okay, so now let's have a listen to the keys. Remember, these are brown switches, so very, very quiet. I prefer them. Oh, and this keyboard does come with full end key rollover, and the polling rate is 1000 hertz. It's a fairly compact keyboard without, of course, the number pad attached. And by the way, this gets attached like so. It just pushes in from this side, and there's actually magnets here, which kind of really, really fastens it nice and securely. Alternatively, you could have it just at a distance, and you can use the cable. Just connect the cable into the keyboard and then into here, and you can have it like that. So that's pretty neat. And it can go on the right side or the left side. 
and it does have feet on it, rubber on the back as well, so it's not going to slip all over the place. You can just move it to the other side, like so, and then plug it into the left side. Now the keyboard measures in at 376 by 154 by 24 millimeters, and it weighs in at 0.97 kilograms. The little number pad here measures in at 105 by 141 by 24 millimeters and weighs 0.32 kilograms. On the right side of the keyboard, you can see the magnetic contacts as well as a USB port. At the back is where the detachable braided cable gets connected. Also, here's the power cable connection. On the left side, same magnetic points where it gets connected and a USB port. At the back, you have lots of feet here. You have two big ones on the bottom. And as well, you've got a tilting option here so you can swing the keyboard up. I prefer actually keyboards being tilted up a little bit and those also have rubber on them. With so many mechanical keyboards on the market, it is very difficult to choose just one. So here is what I would recommend. If you're buying a gaming keyboard, get one that is backlit because let's face it, you're going to be gaming in complete or near darkness. It's not a deal breaker, but it does help and this one is not backlit. Also, some will not buy a mechanical keyboard unless it has cherry switches. This one doesn't have cherry switches, but rather kale switches. And software, which this one does not come with, does give you a lot of more features. Now with all that being said, this is an exceptional basic keyboard. It looks fantastic. It is compact and very, very stylish. And the build quality is really good as well. Very sturdy. It feels quite good. Plus, it comes with a detachable Cord. And remember, you've got this number pad option as well. So while this is not the very best mechanical keyboard out there, it does have all the basic stuff and then some plus. It's not going to break the bank. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.